Hi, I'm Roger. I work at Fraseway RV in the service department, and I'm here to show you a quick video about uh, hitching up a trailer to your truck. So once we've backed up and we're on the ball, we're going to lower the trailer onto the ball until we're just touching and just putting a little bit of weight on. Okay, then we can make sure that we lock or lock into place so that the ball is not going to come off of the trailer. And then we want to hook up our electrical plug. And then we need to connect our safety chains. There's one on each side. And then finally we have a breakaway cable. Uh, this is for our breakaway switch for our emergency if we the trailer comes loose. Uh, we need to be able to activate the brakes. So that, we don't have a clip, but that needs to be hitched on to the side of the, the hitch, somewhere on near where the chains go, but not actually on the chains itself. So we'll need an extra clip that goes on to here to hook onto our hitch, which we'll get later. So the next part we're gonna put on is the equalizer. There are many different types of equalizer bars. This is one style that we're going to use. We're going to show you today. So this one to install into the head, you put it on sideways. There's a little D-shaped catch on it, which has to line up inside here. So we turn it and we make sure, nope, it's not caught. So we may have to go a little further to reach that catch. There we go. Now it's caught inside. Next step is we need to hitch up the chain. So we're going to hook up the chain and if you've never hooked one up for the first time, you're going to need to decide how many links you need. And we need our, our bar, sorry. So we'll start off with a couple links and see how tight we need to get it and we can adjust it after that. It takes a bit of effort to move it over. Now as we have it hitched up, if we look at this bar here, it should be parallel with the frame. In this case it's not, it's a little higher than it is over there, so we have a little bit too much tension on it. So I'm going to carefully undo the tension and then I'm going to add an extra couple of links. That's too little. That's closer, but we could still try to go a little tighter. And that's about right. It's roughly parallel and the position of this bracket means that the chain is roughly straight up and down so there's room for it to swing back and forth as we turn. And then finally on this one we have a locking pin to keep this in place. Then you do once you've done the other side then that portion is completed. Okay once you've completed the hookup and put your EQ on then you can uh, lower the jack down the rest of the way, take the rest of the weight off. And before we tow, we want to make sure that our cords and our breakaway cables, they're all going to be clear and not going to be getting in the way and being pinched. So this cord you may need to wrap around your jack or tie it up by your jack just to make sure that it's not going to get pinched in the hitch as we turn around as we're tra traveling. <laughs> 